What's up? Um, what's up, all my dudes? It's your boy Falcon XMK here, and all. And for all you people that are just now tuning in, for all you frail newbies, I am a gamer. I'm an athlete. I goof around with my roommates. I'm a college student, and I do it all. I do a lot of things. I design. I design my old high school gym. Um, I design t-shirt. I do t-shirts. I do banners, I do just about anything. I'm a new media design major. But anyway, this yes, this is what you see here. The DualShock 4. You already know. The PS for the PlayStation 4. It's here. I'm doing an unboxing video right now for you guys. And a little side note. See, I kind of I draw. I draw a little bit. As you can see, I have to go over, I have to color it in like a... Uh, a chalk, it's like uh, orange. It's supposed to be red, but that's obviously not like a red. But it's one of the buildings in, inside uh, the building at my school. See all the pillars and all that stuff. This is actually due in two days, so I just gotta finish coloring up and then, you know, bam. It'll probably be an A or B. Who knows? But anyway, back to what you guys are really concerned with the DualShock 4. I figured since I got it early, I figured I'd do an unboxing video for you guys. Let me, uh, hold on. Don't want to rip this precious box. See, now I can't show you guys the PlayStation 4. I can't because of personal reasons. But not even personal reasons, just that the company doesn't want you to. So, but anyway, I think this is good enough for you guys. Get you up, get you guys a little antsy and up to par, you know. Just put that down. Open this up. Get this bad boy up out of here. Come on, come on out, come on out. Doing this with one hand is kind of hard, <laughs> but. It's in the same exact packaging as the as the DualShock 3s, which is kind of cool. I mean, it's kind of cool, kind of not. But as you can see, the design of the box is obviously different. Let's see, there's like the little details and specs and all that good stuff for you guys that can't see. DualShock 3 wireless, touchpad, light bar, all the specs. So now. Being able to finally get my hands on this, uh, the first thing I immediately notice is how it's, it's different. It's a little longer. It's not necessarily big. Is that that's what the um, that's the you know main thing that was going around that was bigger, and it's not necessarily bigger. It's just like a little wider. That's all. It's just like longer. So you just zoom out of here real quick. See, let's put it up. You think about it in retrospect, it's kind of actually smaller than the DualShock 3. If that makes sense a little bit. Well, yeah, I don't even have the trigger. I don't even have my triggers on my controller. And it's noticeably smaller. Let's go from this type of angle. Yeah. So it's like a, it's a little slimmer. It's a little sleeker, which is also pretty cool. Um, it feels great. It feels great in my hands. Um... I can't just can't put put it in both of my hands because I need one to use the camera with. But um, actually, let's see. Maybe, maybe I can. Does this work? No. <laughs> Not. That. Maybe you can post it over here. Maybe. Maybe so. Maybe. Bam. Okay. So I don't know if this will work, but see, hold these two up. Yes, I got a keypad on my PS3. Stroke, but do a shock three. But as you can see, they're kind of like the same size, I guess, in a way. But if you look at it from the side, the dual shock four looks a little sleeker, looks a little thinner, if anything. That's that's what I feel. That's the major difference I feel. So, Obviously, you know, I got my, my my game freaks, you know, you need, if you're playing a first person shooter, you need game freaks, just saying. But for this, you know, 
you, you don't really need it because the way that they made the analogs or digital or whatever they call it now, it's pretty good. It's, it fits nice in your thumb, which is pretty awesome. You got the triggers. It actually cups your finger now. There's no sliding off. That, that slide off that everybody had a problem with on a DualShock 3. Um, the buttons are even spacing out. The X, the X and triangle and square and circle are evenly placed out where now the DualShock 3 they kind of weren't the square and circle were a little closer than the triangle and X but you don't really notice it it's not a big deal so I also like the touchpad here it's clickable and it's smooth it's smooth to the touch like your fingers are meant to like just slide off of it so you have the PS button oh look press the PS button and the light comes on <laughs> it's, set, it's trying to sense for the PS4 right now but I can't let you guys again see that for obvious reasons. But anyway, this is the DualShock 4. I mean, I'll turn it to the screen right now. I'm going to show you what I was playing. I'm, I'm going to show you my gamer tag. Fuck, I'm XMK. So I'm teasing you guys right now. So you thought it was probably the PS4. It's, I have my PS3 hooked up right now because I'm playing Grand Theft Auto Online. But this is my gamer tag. You already know. There's a lot. Level five, 15. I've been grinding. I've been working. I play a lot of games on my spare time. And then also make sure, hit that subscribe button. See, subscribe. You subscribe. I will keep you guys up to date on just about anything that you guys ask for. And I put up, a, I'm starting to put up a lot of videos more frequently, and I'm trying to really get my name out there. So subscribe, I will keep you guys entertained, and I will keep you guys up to date and informed. I'm back, DualShock 4, feels nice and smooth. It's like, here near the D-pad, it feels like it's that, uh, not that, that, uh, sleek black that was on the original PS3 that was like a fingerprint magnet but hopefully this isn't it feels like it I can't really tell right now because there's no light but if it gets smudges I'm probably gonna be upset <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys the back side because I didn't show you that yet ding, ding, ding. pretty cool get your buttons the R R1 and L1 are a little smaller than the, from the original. Same with the R2 and L2, but that's not really too much of a difference. Not not much of a big deal. But it feels great. It feels like it got like the back of it's like kind of like grippy, which is good. So it won't really fall out your hands. It's durable. It feels nice and solid. From the six axes when they first came out with, it was kind of like eh. It was too light. It was like it felt like real plasticky, but this is real durable, and it feels good. You got the speaker in the middle, so stay tuned. I will probably be doing an unboxing video of the PlayStation camera. Stay tuned for that video. Rate, subscribe. If you have any questions about it, feel free to leave a comment down below in the comment section, and I'll be willing to answer any questions. PlayStation 4 is coming out November 15th. For all you Sony fans, be ready. Be ready and be prepared. And for all of you that are just now turning to Sony, I'm not even a fanboy. I, I'm for the customers, and I feel like getting the PlayStation 4 was the better deal out of the Xbox One. But if anything, you know, if it doesn't work out, I will switch over to the Xbox One, which is will be a first because I've been playing PlayStation since I was a kid. So it's always been like nice to have, and so we just gotta see how it works. Within the usually within the first year, you better tell who won the console wars. Right now, the launch day, you probably won't be able to tell. So give it a year, and then I guess we'll come back to this. So the DualShock Four. Your boy Falcon XMK here. I will see you guys next time.